welcome back to bread making in culinary class. So, the last we saw you, we were making the bread, combining the ingredients, and letting it rise. So, as I said, we had to let it rise for about three to four hours. It has now been four hours, and the bread is pretty much risen. So let me kind of show you what it looks like. So there is the bread. Now it's, uh, it's not gonna completely double in size, but it's going to get pretty big. So this is a, almost close to double in size of what it was before. So what do we do next? So next, what we have to do is we get our cutting board or surface, so where we decide we want to use. In this case, I'm gonna use a wooden cutting board. And we need to get some more flour. Let's get a so what we have to have is a well floured surface. And what we're going to do is we're going to shape the dough into a round bread loaf shape. And then we're going to put it back into the bowl in parchment paper, let it rise for about another 35 minutes, cover it with a towel. And then after that, we would then take that and we'll put it into the Dutch oven that is currently in the oven right now, preheating to 450 degrees. So you want it to be hot when we put this in here. Then we will take the bread and the Dutch oven, put it back into the oven and cook for about 30 minutes, take it out, take the lid off, let it cook about another 10 minutes, toast up the top of the bread, and there's that yummy bread. So let's start with well floured surface. So, what we want to do, and we're going to get our hands dirty, and we're going to put it all on here like this. Okay, so, now, and I'm going to dust my hands, we're going to take our handy little spatula, and we're going to kind of move it around the dough, kind of move it out, and we're going to kind of Put it down here onto, and you can see it's definitely risen quite a bit. Still very sticky. Okay, so we're gonna get it all out here. There we go. And a little bit more down. Okay. And there we are. So let's give ourselves a little bit more flour on our hands, flour a little bit on the top, and then what we're going to do, we're just going to kind of work the dough a little bit. We're going to just kind of move it around. And you can kind of see it's, um, it's getting more elastic, which is good. The gluten has formed in the dough, and this might be more flour than we need. But again, we're just trying to get it into a ball shape. So I'm just kind of forming it and pulling it. You can see how I'm doing this. I'm pulling it kind of around the corners and into the bottom here, a little bit like so. Now, you don't need to really knead this too much. This is a no knead dough. But we're just trying to get it into that kind of shape. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm going to take some parts of the paper. could do is you could take this and you could wet the towel a little bit. Sometimes I will do that when I make my wheat bread in the loaf pans. Wet it, gives a little bit of moisture and so forth. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to cover it here with the towel and I'm going to give it about 35 minutes to kind of do another little bit of a rise. Then after that, I will take that with the parchment paper, put it into the Dutch oven that's in the oven right now preheating. And then we will cover the lid, put it in the oven, and cook for about 30 minutes. We've got bread 
very soon. So anyway, let me clean up my mess and we'll be back soon.